Hey everybody, Brendan O'Neill here from Ready Fitness. Coach Scott and I are on this theme today of multi-planar movement. We're going sagittal, frontal, and transverse. Um, so to do some rotational stuff, we decided to use a med ball. It's a simple tool to use. Um, you could throw off a wall, or today we're going to demonstrate doing this in a partner type drill. You don't need a heavy weight for this. Again, we want perfect mechanics every time. And this is a 10 pound ball, so probably the heaviest end that you're going to use, especially if you're using young athletes. Okay, so coach is going to grab the ball, he's going to load up. Good. I'm going to throw it on the bounce so he can load up. Good. And notice from the foot to the hip to the shoulder to the hand. Good. Everything starts from the ground. Works its way up the chain. Two more. Good. One more. Good. Relax. Excellent. And that's what you're looking for as a coach is that foot, hip, shoulder, hand. Okay. Every time repeating that movement, Scott did a great job of digging in that back toe as he rotated the heel. Oftentimes you'll see kids with a stiff foot or a tight arch. They actually lean too far forward and they don't get that toe dug in. So that's a small detail, but it's something that's gonna make a world of difference in performance. Okay, so we're looking for eight to 10 repetitions from one side, eight to 10 from the other. Oftentimes with athletes, we'll have them start on their dominant side first so they can groove the pattern, so they have good form. And that way when they go to their non-dominant side, they have a feeling of how that form should feel. Okay, eight to 10 reps, toe, hip, hand, Work on that for power. Thank Coach Scott.